Um, I think just 10 field goals made for you guys inside from two point range. That's a season low for you guys. What did you see with this to struggles, um, you know, being able to score inside the paint or just inside the arc in general? Yeah, I mean, I think as we know, that's what they want to do, protect the paint and, uh, you know, make you shoot threes. We had some open ones, but we played in the crowd too much. I think uh, obviously it shows by the turnovers, you know, 27 points off our 18 turnovers and not seeing our outlets. We had a, our best stretch of the game in the fourth quarter where we penetrated and kicked and got three wide open shots. But that's what they're trying to do, deter you from driving to the basket. Um, and for the most part, I don't think our decision making was great when we got to the basket, whether it was a drop off or kick out for threes. But we need multiple penetration, penetration, multiple point uh, paint touches. And uh, they did a good job as far as that. And, and like I said, I, I think Jalen and Jason didn't have their best night offensively and missed some easy ones that we were no normally going to make. And so that combined you know, obviously leads to those numbers. Hey, you may. Um, how do you get different shots? I mean, you know, they obviously wanted you guys hitting the three or shooting the three and just cracking open what they do defensively in the paint. Yeah, it's, it's uh, with this team, with the physicality, they guard it on the perimeter. Obviously, the pickup points are much higher. Uh, we can spread them out and space them out and get downhill and attack some. Um, Lopez and at times Portis were up high enough where we could have uh, penetrated on those guys. We settled for some tougher three-point shots. We got to get downhill and get to the basket. Obviously, we can put our guys in different positions with some post-ups and, and some things where we're not fighting as much from the perimeter. And so we'll take a look at that and figure out what we want to do as far as that. But um, you know, offensively, like I said, not our best night. I felt we guarded well enough, you know, holding them to 101. But to have 89 points and, and you know, lack of – Penetration and paint points is obviously alarming, so we got to figure that out. But uh, we know who they are defensively, and I think their physicality more more so than anything caught us off, off guard. They they picked you up full court uh, for a lot of the game. How did that impact you guys, and what do you need to do better against that? Sped us up a little bit. Um, you know, they're trying to take us out of our, out of certain sets. Um, but we do like the spacing that it affords us. Uh, like I said, I don't feel our, our rim reads were the best tonight. Uh, we know Lopez is going to be back there. So we had some kickouts and some you know jump offs that we could have made, could have made, and also some shots we missed close by the basket. Um, sped us up, and I don't feel we played with the best poise and composure overall. Um, you could see what they were trying to do as far as speeding us up, and it kind of worked. Yeah, I, I remember asking you at the first practice back after the Brooklyn series whether this physicality was going to be a different animal for, for you guys. Do you feel like the, the, just the level of defense that they played after you know, the end of the season, after playing the Brooklyn defense, that this level was just at a place that you didn't even really fully realize it was going to be? I don't think that. We know how they guard, and, and they have really good perimeter defenders. So you know, it's not a surprise what Holiday's going to do and what Matthews and some of those guys are going to do as far as that. But um, you know, I'm not going to use you know, Brooklyn as an excuse for this. We we're prepared for what they were going to do. And I, like I said, I felt, you know, it's, it's in a way good to get this, this dud out of the way offensively, you know. And, and so to lose a 12-point game when we played that poorly offensively, I think bodes well for us. We'll figure out what we like as far as that. And then uh, I think our poor offense fueled their offense. And so a lot of ways to clean up and get better. And did you guys, do you feel like you settled too, for, for too many threes too early? Did that set the tone for the offense that you were very willing to take the three-pointers early on, or were those the shots that you wanted to get? Uh, I mean, we're, we're fine with open threes, honestly. Um, we, I think we have three level scores with Jason and Jalen, and we didn't take a lot of our mid-range pull-ups um, that were there and over-penetrated at times. We got some offensive fouls, and then you know, kind of got into the paint too deep at times. And so, uh, you know, the paint points are great, but also the intermediate and the mid range are good for us too. We've got two high level guys that can score there. So, um, you know, when we do penetrate and kick and get them in scramble mode, I think it's going to lead to more paint touches, but we want those open threes as well. And so, um, didn't shoot a port that poorly, 36%, but obviously had many more wide open looks that we'd like to knock down. Uh, Giannis in the first half, he was facing up a lot, and you guys had to send a lot of help. He was getting a lot of kickouts. Second half, he was backing down more. Did you guys have to change the way you helped, and how do you feel like that worked, considering he was able to have plays like when he just threw an alley oop to himself off the glass? Yeah, I think um, first half, our, our rotations weren't as sharp as they needed to be. We're a little slow as far as that. Uh, sometimes we're going to go after him, sometimes based on who's defending him and in what position. 
uh, we want to let those guys guys guard straight up. So I felt, um, especially when he's looking right at you, kind of trying to bait you with that with that pass out of the double team. We went too too quick at times when he's looking at us, and our rotations weren't sharp. Uh, obviously, those guys rely on him to get those open three point shots, and they had I think six for eleven catch and shoot threes in the first in the first half. So we got to be better as far as that. Um, staying with Giannis, um, you guys did a solid job defensively of keeping him um, contained. He had one of his worst shooting nights of his playoff career, but he did finish with a, a triple-double. Um, how difficult is it just to make sure that he doesn't start going off in other areas? Yes, I mean, to some extent, those great players that command the double team, you, you want to pick your poison at times. Um, I think we helped unnecessarily at times when we had some good matchups on him. Or, you know, he's going to shoot a fadeaway jump shot. We want to live with that shot. And I think we rotated there, and then our rotation wasn't sharp behind. So uh, guarded him more so one on one in the second half. But he impacted the game in the first half with a lot of kick out threes. And that's obviously evident in his triple double. Did their physicality at all, you think, get into your, your guys' heads in the way that they did make? Decisions that you weren't happy with, you, you think that that was kind of put, kind of weighing on them a little bit in some of the decisions they made, knowing the physicality that was happening. The physicality, I think, the pickup points, you know, they were guarding us really around half court, sped us up, you know, took us out of some of our sets, and so we can't be surprised by that. We have to obviously play with a little bit better poise and and you know not get rushed. And at times, those caused some of those turnovers. It felt like we were going up and down, and a little frantic. Both teams were at, at some point, and then. Um, you know, some plays are getting called, some are not. And so I think uh, that kind of got it bothered us a little bit. But, um, you know, we can put our guys in better position, you know, to play against that physicality, especially when they're going to pick up that high, initiate the offense with the other guys, and, and we'll figure that out. How much was Marcus's leg uh, also affecting him? I know when, you, when he came out right before half, they said it was Stinger and Quad. It, it seemed to be very favoring that a lot in the, uh, in the second half. Yeah, he took a few hits. Uh, took two in the first half, and I think the quad bothered him more than the shoulder. But um, you know, he's going to play through a lot, and it could have affected him offensively. You know, getting downhill, driving a little bit, but defensively as well, which he likes to climb up into guys and, and be more physical. So it probably affected him some. He's getting ice down now. I assume it'll be okay. The the Bobby Lopez Giannis lineup, uh, what, what extra challenges does that present when they're using all three of those guys at the same time? Well, it's a bigger lineup, I mean, than traditional, what you see nowadays. But we've, we played against those guys all year and had some success. So um, we feel there are some advantages against Lopez and, and Portis as well. So uh, we're a big team as well. And you know, these are two larger size teams going at it. I don't, I don't know if that affected us as much as their guards, honestly, on the perimeter. Just, just one more quick question to Marcus. When, when he left the court, was it made known to you right away that he'd be back, or were there were a few anxious moments there? In the first half? Mm -hmm. it, was a, it looked like a stinger. And so he kind of said that walking by, and then we knew he'd be back. Uh, just had to get checked out really quickly before it half. I mean, is, the, is the quad something Marcus has been dealing with for a while, or is that something new? I think he got hit twice today, but he's, you know, the way he gets through screens, he gets hit frequently. Um, but. It looked like two got him back to back today, and that was bothering him. It tightened up a little bit at halftime. You know, he missed a few games earlier this year due to that. He may, it seemed like the officiating was causing frustration also, and it was kind of back to the December Celtics of kind of, you know, not getting back on defense and, and things. How do you kind of keep, as you mentioned, the poise when it's going to be frantic out there? They're going to be physical, and, and you guys haven't seen that in a while. I would say, you know, the obviously the turnovers that lead into those transition more so than us complaining about calls. Um, you know, some of those are live ball turnovers and getting out and running. You know, 28 points, like I mentioned, in transition, 27 off our turnovers is way too high, especially when they only score one on one. So, uh, got to be stronger with the ball, understand what they're going to be. They're going to they're gonna have five guys in the paint every time we have penetration. And so, being stronger with the ball and, and having our outlets there is the first part, I think, of. Stopping their offenses, us running good offense as well. So, uh, might have got caught up in a little bit. Um, you know, we're guarding one way, and, and things are getting called maybe not as evenly at times. And so, you just got to play through that. It's the playoffs. You got to understand the physicality and the level is going to go up. And how do you get Jalen going earlier? I mean, it seemed like he he kind of tried to get into the game with three pointers. He missed, and he was kind of just erratic most of the day. Yeah, get him something easy at the rim. I think the threes are, you know, really good looks. He had wide open looks that he was missing early. Um, 
but get him downhill. You know, like I said, we have him and Jason are really good mid-range shooters, and they're they're living with those shots. So try to get him some of those, something closer to the basket. But also understand that the crowd is going to be around him. He has to obviously be strong with the ball, and you know, having seven turnovers is obviously too high there. But um, that's that's what they're going to do on those guys, as they've seen all year by most teams. Uh, Ime, obviously, game of adjustments as you go throughout a series. What kind of things did you learn in your mind about your team today that you maybe need to adjust? Is, is it a, some sim simple things? And what are your thoughts on getting ready for game two? Yeah, I'd say, you know, we had a, that with five minutes to go when I called a timeout, I said, let's have some carryover for next game offensively. And, and we had three really good possessions where we penetrated and kicked and made two out of three three pointers. So uh, we weren't doing that all day. Uh, we knew that coming into it, there were going to be four or five guys in the paint every time. And we have to have, make the right reads. And so um, we'll have some good clips, obviously, to show um, offensively what we did and some poor ones. And so we can learn from that and get better there. The adjustment is obviously playing against their physicality and, and us putting them in some different positions where our handlers aren't getting guarded as tightly at half court. So we'll look at all that. And like I said, we feel we can get a lot better going in the game, too. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.